Hey guys, we're finally up on the rebellion again. And boy, we missed you. I love seeing you guys every week. And today we're going to try to keep it a little light. Definitely going to do a really cool meditation. This is one I do regularly, and it it's uh it's actually part of an attunement, which is an, the way that they pass on energy in the East. And a lot of people know about that. A lot of New Age type people know about that. But that's a real thing, and it's uh, totally legit. So, but you can still do the meditation, and the meditation is very, very powerful just on its own. And I'm really excited to share it with you. So I'm tagging a few people that I think want to come and see, like, like Robin. Yeah, got her. Good. And... <laughs> And maybe my friend James, possibly, he's catching some cool people. And you guys can all chat, you know, on Facebook. At some point, you guys can call in, but, you know, for right now, it seems to work better for everyone if we just chat on Facebook. So that's what we're doing. All right, here we go. We're starting live. I'm going to uh, 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 okay, it's Kevin giving me some trouble. Oh, my God, I did all that, and it just canceled it? What the crap? Okay. Hold on, don't guys. Me, don't. They are really trying to keep me. I might have to go into, we might have to go into the living room or outside. You know? Yeah. I'm serious. Because, like, for the, I, I don't, oh, my God, what the fuck? Okay, guys, I'm sorry. It's being all kinds of crazy. <laughs> Lately. Yeah, our Wi-Fi is being really weird. And, uh, okay, let me go on because I didn't have any people. Now I'm going to invite people. So I hope all you guys are ready to hear it. We're going to do some – I might have some – some. I have to invite them right now, CJ. Wait, I'm okay. not done because I didn't get to tag them. All right. So, anyway, what we're going to do – I'm going to talk a little bit of serious stuff, and I'm always sorry to have to tell you guys serious stuff because it's not fun. And you guys are already stuck at home, worrying about the future. Don't worry, okay? Just pray. Bring your spring light into yourself through meditation, and you will. This it'll protect you, okay? I have been assured that it will protect you. So, you know, don't be afraid. Just, uh, just do your best. You know, it's all we can do is our best. You know. Okay. Here we go. Hi guys. Finally got some people on it up here. All right. Here we go. Now you can put it up, CJ. Oh, now I can put it yeah, up. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. I was trying to do it. Nice. All right. All right. <laughs> All right, guys. Yeah, love that. So I got Woo! some serious stuff to talk about at some point. But, uh, you know, we're going to do a nice sun meditation so that we can bring light into ourselves. And we're going to share that light with all the dark beings that live around us. If you're like me and you live in a poor area, you may have a lot of dark beings around you because they tend to swarm. Sorry, guys. I think it's you know, it's, I mean, it's like ghettos are, are ghettos for a reason, that people actually, spirits like to go there. Bad spirits that like trouble and chaos will feed in areas like that. So there, if you live in a poorer area, you may have a lot of darkness around you. But this meditation can actually really, really help you with that. You can turn them not only toward light, but they'll actually start trying to serve you because they'll see you as the source of their light. In a sense, it's like if you were like Jesus and you go to hell, all the spirits will come to you. They see your light. They want to be part of you. They love you. They want to feel love again. And they can't feel anything without light. They feel empty. So... It's sad. This is what happens to certain people if they if you empower your darkness more than your light, your darkness will become so powerful it won't die. But then you've got so little light that you're kind of a slave to anyone who has light. Anybody who's smart has both, so don't trust everybody. You know what I mean? Like you know what I mean? Just because they have light, they 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 might play light and darkness. You just have to be careful because I know a lot of spirits and beings like that. And, uh, you know, I'm a, be a really good person, though, because literally if you're a good person, they can't resist you, your love, okay? Your love is everything. If you're a good person, they won't be able to, to, to fight that. You just you have to be true to yourself, true to what you believe, and always trying to get closer to source and to the light. The light is everything, you know? In the middle of the darkness, the person with the candle is the one in charge. 
in that world because it's like that's the person you're everybody's going to. You know? I've even experienced in my life people with real charisma are people who have that light inside of them. And I don't mean charisma that's from money or from beauty because those things are, are, are energy. I mean, oh, my goodness. This is why I know I was in a higher dimension, okay, because I truly couldn't understand how people could just value money above everything else or just a car. I, I, even in high school, I, I really thought these were stereotypes, that people weren't really like this. It didn't. I just couldn't accept it. People were really like that, okay, because I was so innocent, you know, and I got a brand new car. It was, and my mom had actually died, and uh, one of the things I got with some money was a car, because my dad was not too cool, and it was like he wouldn't even. He, he, I could go on and on with my dad, but I got myself a car that was pretty decent, and people, and I was a nerd from the time I was in the first grade till the time I went. So the time I got that car, because <laughs> once I had that car, me and my boyfriend, who was basically gay, <laughs> we were the coolest couple in school for a little while. We had no idea we were, but it was like, you know, and I couldn't believe that it was that simple, all right? But that's not how, but that's not real charisma, okay? Real charisma comes from the light inside, and I've been around people like that. And those people, you're drawn to those people because they make you feel good about yourself, you know. Their light, their love, their experiences affect how you feel about yourself. And if they're good people, they're thinking of you and they're actually caring about you, you know. The bad ones, you know, they'll burn you out because they're not, they're like children. They're not there. But a better and better people will be better and better. Anyway, <clears throat> let's do some meditation. All right. <clears throat> This is a very simple one. I'll just explain it. Okay, what the tumen I have from it that actually makes your aura expand. Hold on, let me lift this a little bit. It actually opens up your aura on several different levels and and makes you and invites more light into you. It has a whole there's a whole bunch of stuff. Some of them I can share free and I will, those that I can. And others I can't because it's part of the vow you take when you take the thing. So, but there's a whole system of this stuff if you're not aware of it. And, um, but I can show you the meditation because the meditation is super useful and powerful. Okay. <clears throat> so here we go. Now picture the sun above your head. Just above your head, you have a perfect ball of light glowing where my hands are. <laughs> Just imagine off screen, there's a giant ball of glowing light. Okay. Now you breathe in. And you feel the warmth of the sun coming into your body. It's relaxing your muscles. It's relaxing everything in you. Okay. And you let that sit in there. And you do that. We're going to do it nine times each because it's Monday. And nine is the Monday's number, the moon number. Okay. So we go. Breathe in the sun's light. Let it relax your body. Let black, permeating all your cells, all your way down to your bones, into your DNA, into your bone marrow, everything. Your blood is filled with this light of source, and it's filling you up. Feel it filling you up. That's three breaths. Light is in your body. It's flowing through your nerves throwing along your body. You're bursting with light. Flowing through you. It's as if your body can't contain any more light. All right, nine breaths. Now we picture the orb of light coming through my, our body into our heart here. Breathe it in and breathe it down into you. Oh, there's a glowing ball of white light inside of your chest. Glowing out of your body, glowing into your body. It's filling your body with light. Now take a deep breath and feel the light grow brighter when you breathe it. When you breathe out, Tendrils of light come out. 
reaching for everything out into your environment, and every dark spirit in your environment is captured and caught by one of those tendrils. And the light, when you breathe in, the light gets brighter. When you breathe out, it goes along those lines, and it, it, and it fills those dark beings with light, and they fall to their knees because they can't resist the light. And you breathe in, and you break it right, right, right within your soul, and then you breathe out. The light goes out into all of the beings of darkness, and they can feel their emotions again, and they can feel the light, and they can feel the love. And now they see you as their source of light. And for those of you who are a little bit dark, if you want dark spirits to serve you, this is how you do it. And this keeps you from getting too dark. Because if you get too dark, you're just going to end up one of them eventually. It's not a place you want to be. You just feel empty. You breathe in the light. And out it goes along the tendrils of light into everything. And it's filling them up. It's, the light is filling up everything that's dark. It's breaking up the darkness. And the personalities that are held within the darkness are replaced by light. So they're not dead. They're just reborn. And then the light. Deep, deep, deep. You see it growing bright inside of you and then out. Into your environment. Everything is being filled with light. These beings see the light. They see the love. And they're looking for redemption. They can get redemption through that light. One more time. One more deep breath. Bright light. Out along those lines. All right. Now we let them keep that light. We pull the tenders back into ourselves. And we're just big, glowing, bright ball of light. And we take a few deep breaths. And the light goes out through our bodies, healing us and calming us from our efforts. Breathe in the light. Blows through our body, healing you and calming you from your efforts. Breathe in the light. Now we see I irradiate light to my higher bodies so that they can circulate my consciousness for greater purification. And that's the meditation. <laughs> we can do that every day. We can do that more than once a day. But if you do that a little bit of that every day, you'll see a difference in your soul and in everybody else's, too, that's around you. Like, people will get better. Your environment will be less chaotic. You'll be surprised. Like, your things will get far less chaotic. I've been doing this a little bit, and I'm seeing a massive difference in my environment. I do other things, too. It's not the only thing I do. It's just one of the things I do. So, okay. <laughs> hey, Melissa, I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> hey, guys. Giant hand on the screen. <laughs> so, let me turn oh, it. Okay. okay. All right. Oh, overlook. So, yeah, you guys can see I cropped the old mop top. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to grow it out, but it was just, it's too hot. It's been like in the 90s right now around here, you know, which is nice. Like, oh, we'd love to have it in the 90s over here, Cal. It's pretty damn cold over that. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, for the conceivable future, it's going to have to stay short for summer, which is okay. I mean, I did it every year when I was a kid on the swim team, so. And, hey, as soon as this is all over, anybody who wants to come out here and stay with us because you've never been to the Pacific Ocean, never been to the beach, Come on out, man. We're making all the beach runs this summer. We uh, yeah, we live about an hour, hour and a half from the beach, not too far. It's kind of a journey. And like a lot of people, we find excuses every year to not go as much as we could. And having been through this protracted period of isolation, we have really come to the conclusion that we're going to go out and live our lives out there as much as we should. And we would like to have anyone who wants to come along and be guests with us and friends. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That would be so great if you guys, if we could get together somehow after this isolation you because know, here's the thing. Like Melissa. Yeah. <laughs> we don't want the isolation to end. Mm -hmm. It would be isolation to continue. Yeah. This is the one thing. I was born in California, but I grew up back in uh, Maryland. And as much as I love California and Southern California, there's this really isolationist attitude that comes. And it's kind of necessary because it's just so big. I mean, I try and tell people that there, there are only like six states. 
whose entire population equals 